Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Roman numerals. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to convert numbers up to 500. So let's begin with our first example. Let's suppose we've got this number 337. How would we write this down in Roman numerals? Well we know from our previous tutorials we start from the left and the first number is first digit is 3 that's 300. How do we write 300? It is C is 100 so we got C C C. So that is the three C's are the 300. Next we do the tens and that is 3 again. So that is 30. How do we write 30? It is simple. It is X, X, X. So the three X's are 30. And lastly we do the units which is 7. And what is 7 in Roman numerals? It, that's simple. It is V, I, I. So that is 7. 5, 6, 7. So 337 in Roman numerals is C, 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 X, 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 V, I, I. It's very long, looks complicated, but it is very simple if you work through the formula which we're going through. Now let's suppose we have the next number which is 452. 452. Now how would we write that down? Again we start with the left, which is the 4, that's 400. How do we write 400? Well 400 we write as C D. Just make a note of that. That is 100 before or you can say less than 500. D is 500, C is 100. So it's 100 less than 500, which is 400. So CD is 400. Now we're going to do the tens. How many are there? There are five. So how do we write 50? That's an easy one. It's just simply L. And now lastly, we've got the two units. How do we write those down? I, I. So those are the two units. So 452 is written in Roman numerals as C, D, L, I, I. And let's move to our final one on this side. How do we write 499? Right, I want you to help me with this. 499. Where do we start? We start on the left hand side. 400. How do we do 400? Well, we did it up here. It is C D. So that is 400. Next, we do the units. It's 9. That is 90. How do we write 90? It is X C X C that is 10 before or less than 100 that is 90 and lastly we do the units which is 9 how do we write 9 it is I X so therefore 499 is written in Roman numerals as C D X C I X. Brilliant. Right now we're going to write Roman numerals and work out what number they represent. So let's start with our first example. Okay, we're going to write it here so we've got a bit of space. We've got C, 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 L, X, X, V, 
I, I. Now that looks very long, doesn't it? And it looks quite complicated. Well, it's not going to be. So let's start on the left hand side. We start with the C's, and we keep going. We come to an L, we come to a stop. The three C's are 300. Now we're going to do the tens. We start with the L, keep going until we come to an I or a V. How many is that? Well, L is 50, X is 10, and X is 10. So that is 70. And lastly, we've got is the units. V, I, I. That's 5, 6, 7. So therefore, the Roman numeral, this one, C, 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 L, X, X, V, I, I, is 300. And 77. Again, it looked complicated, but once you break it down, it's very simple. Let's look at our next example. Suppose this time we have C, 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 X, C, I, X. This one's a bit shorter, but I don't think it's going to be any simpler, but let's have a look. I'm just kidding. This is very simple. Start on the left hand side, we've got C, 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 we come to a stop. So that is 300. Next, we have an X and a C. We stop here because we come to an I. What is X, C? Well, X, C is 10 before, or you can say less than, 100, which, which means it is 90. Lastly, we have I, X. What is IX? It's 1 before 10, or 1 less than 10, which means it's 9. Therefore, this Roman numeral is 399. Again, it looks a lot simpler. Or should I say, it is a lot simpler than it looks. Right, last one. Suppose we've now got C, D, L, X, X, V. Now, what number does that represent? Well, again, we start on the left-hand side. We've got C, D. What does that represent? C, D, that is 100 before. Don't forget, D is 500. So 100 before 500 is 400. Next, we've got is L, X, X. So that is 50 and a 10 and a 10. So how much does that come out to? That is 70. And lastly, we've got a V. That is 5. Therefore, this Roman numeral is 475. So that is how we convert numbers into Roman numerals and vice versa up to 500.